What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team Head-to-Head -head Seasons game. And guys, you can see on the screen my most recent game. You guys saw it. I got a 3-0 loss because the game lost connection midway through me getting an interception. So, uh, yeah, we're at 4-2 and two on the season now. Gonna try and get back on the winning path here in this one. But I'm gonna tell you guys... This game comes down to the wire. It is an, probably one of the funnest games that I've played. It was extremely frustrating when it was happening because, oh uh, man, like you always just come into every game expecting, dude, I'm going to beat the crap out of all these people, right? And it doesn't always work out that way. Let me just put it that way. So this game is going to be a struggle. Hope you guys enjoy it. And we'll get things started here on offense. Going to try and run the football to get things started here. LaShawn McCoy off the left side. We did get rid of the uh, Bo Jackson because he kind of just dropped in overall so you are going to see LaShawn McCoy now as my main running back and we've got Randall Cunningham of course at quarterback so I am able to run around with him a little bit more than I have been in the past with some of my other quarterbacks so my offense is a little bit different now than it has been in the past we've got more running in it we've got a lot more diversion and that kind of thing but yeah we're going to try and move this football on the ground for the most part in this contest Doing a pretty good job on this first drive, and my opponent barely missed a sack there. He dove at my feet, did not get it, and we complete the pass there on a third and long to pick up the first down to Jordan Cameron. Continuing to run the football here, that is LaShawn McCoy again off the left side. Picks up nine there, setting up now a third and one. This should have been an easy conversion, but it was definitely not. We get stopped. Going for it now on fourth and three. Decided to go for it based on field position. And we did not complete the pass. He knocks the ball out of Jordan Cameron's hands. And now we're back on defense for the first time in this game. He is going to be able to run the football here to pick up the first down. Third and two picks it up there. And now he's going to continue to move the ball through the air. Bombs it deep. Over the top on Jonathan Joseph. Completely embarrasses him. Deshaun Jackson toasts me for a touchdown. And now I'm frustrated. And now he's going to take advantage. LaShawn McCoy tackled in the backfield, second and 14, we complete a pass here to set up a manageable third down, third and nine here, and we're going to pass it over the middle, Jace Amaro makes the catch there on the play action, that was a nice catch, uh, happy that he didn't drop it there, LaShawn McCoy again off the left side here, and he gets that morphing animation where he tackles me, sets up a third and three, and we are stopped short again, fourth and two, I'm going to go for it again, and this time we are able to pick it up, Jace Amaro holds on to the football, Another clutch catch by him. He has been an absolute beast for me, but we get sacked here on second and 10. Sets up a third and 20, but we make the pass over the middle to Jordan Cameron. A huge third down. Same exact play on the next play, picking up massive yardage here, and we should be in good position now to score. Randall Cunningham off the right side, runs into my running back, probably could have gained more yards there, and watch this. Oh my goodness, what just happened? Watch this interference here by this player. Runs right into my guy right as I'm throwing it. Throws off the pass and he gets the interception. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my gosh, I was raging. I was absolutely raging. And watch this. He almost makes another deep pass. This time into double coverage. We're not able to make an interception. Even despite the fact that we had two guys covering him deep on that one. Third and two now. And he dives up the middle with his fullback. Fourth and one, and oh, I fell for it. I fell for it, and he is going to be able to pick this one up here. Geno Smith could have fumbled there. He ran right into me while he was diving. Usually, you need to slide. Otherwise, a lot of times, your quarterback will fumble. He's not going to fumble again there despite getting hit, and he is eventually able to complete a pass to set up a third and one, and it's going to be an easy conversion here for him. Nice pass there. I was actually supposed to be covering him. I didn't think that he would pass it to the guy out of the backfield because he's been doing this the entire game, just bombing it deep to his receivers down the field, and it worked out for him one time, but this time, oh, should have been an interception. Night Train Lane drops it, but... Ladarius Webb makes up for it with a huge interception on third and 10, getting us the football back. We could have potentially gone down two scores on that drive, so that really was a huge interception. And we've got a minute 20 left in the third quarter now. Nice pass there to Vincent Jackson. Completes the first down, and we are going to continue to run the football here. Almost broke that one. It was one broken tackle away from a huge gain there with LaShawn McCoy. Randall Cunningham going to take off and run here. Nearly picks up the first down. 
sets up a third and one here and it's going to be an easy pass over the middle to Jordan Cameron. He is going to pick up nice yardage after the catch as well. Second and 10 here. Guys, we have four minutes left here and I really need to score. I really need to score. Third and 11. Looks like we have Jordan Cameron, but Clay Matthews steps in and knocks the football away. I decide that I'm just going to take my three points here. Hopefully my defense is able to step up and make a play. We've been doing okay other than that deep ball to Deshaun Jackson. And the first play that he's on offense, he tries it again. And Jonathan Joseph drops it again. Another dropped pick for us. Another deep ball here. And he is going to complete this one. I thought the game was just about over there when that happened. I'm not even going to lie. I, I was pretty pissed off. He is able to run out more and more clock here, just running up the middle, second and five, third and two here, and he's gonna run the football again, and he picks up another first down, brings it down to the two minute warning, and now he is gonna continue to run the football again and again and again, second and 10 here, but he tries to throw the football deep, should be a touchdown, but oh my gosh, Jonathan Joseph, did he knock it away? Was it complete? No, it was incomplete. Oh my gosh, I get bailed out. Third and 10, and he does run the football. We stop him, and we force him now to kick a field goal. We have a minute 44 to tie this football game up here. And we run the screen pass to LaShawn McCoy. We haven't done it yet this game. And look at that move. A beautiful spin move by LaShawn McCoy. That was delicious. And guys, we are driving down the field here. A nice pass to Jason Morrow. Minute 10 left in this one. Still need to put a touchdown on the board to tie this football game. We cannot settle for three as we complete a pass to Jason Morrow there. And another one to Jason Morrow for another first down here. And... A third one to Jason Morrow for the touchdown. We tie this football game up. My opponent is back on offense, but oh my gosh, Jonathan Joseph finally steps up and makes a play. We get the interception. We knew that he was gonna be passing. The pass commit worked, and guys, we are in position to potentially win this football game. Oh my goodness, we were down seven with a minute 44 left, and now we are in position to potentially win this one. We pick up the first down with LaShawn McCoy. Didn't mean to run out of bounds, but that's okay. We are able to run the football one more time and kick this game-winning field goal with three seconds left on the clock. Greg Zerline puts it through the uprights, and guys, we walk away with a W in this one. Oh my goodness, I could not freaking believe that we got that win 13 to 10 a clutch performance in the fourth quarter we are able to walk away with the win that brings us now to five and two on the season hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe if you're new thanks for watching guys and i will talk to you guys again soon